The electric vehicle revolution has been gaining momentum in recent years, driven by the growing concern for environmental sustainability and the need to transition away from fossil fuels. At the forefront of this revolution is Tesla, a company synonymous with innovation and disruption. While Tesla is best known for its electric cars, it's also been making waves in another unexpected domain lithium mining. This strategic move by Tesla is poised to be a game changer for the entire EV industry, reshaping the supply chain and addressing one of the key challenges in electric vehicle production. This lithium mining business for Tesla is almost like Tesla's got a license to print money. Tesla's lithium refinery plant near Corpus Christi, Texas is taking shape. Tesla has big plans for the lithium refinery and the role it could play in the company's overarching goals. Recent drone shots at the Tesla lithium refinery site discovered that significant progress has been made in its development in the last four months. One of the more noticeable changes to the site is the massive pond created near the lithium refinery plant. Tesla held a groundbreaking ceremony at the site of its lithium refinery plant in May 2023. Tesla has been looking into entering the lithium mining and refining industry for a long time now. All the way back in 2014, Tesla tried and failed to buy a lithium startup for $325 million. Lithium-ion batteries are the heart of modern electric vehicles, powering their impressive range and performance. The demand for lithium has surged with the rise in EV adoption, and these batteries rely heavily on lithium to store and discharge energy efficiently. The existing supply chain for lithium, however, has faced challenges related to sustainability, availability, and geopolitical factors. Recognizing these challenges, Tesla decided to take a bold step and secure its own lithium supply by venturing into the lithium mining sector. In a surprising move, Tesla announced its plans to enter the lithium mining sector, a sector traditionally dominated by mining companies. The company's primary goal is to ensure a consistent and environmentally responsible supply of lithium for its growing fleet of electric vehicles. To achieve this, Tesla's explored various strategies, including partnering with existing mining companies, investing in lithium extraction technology, and even acquiring lithium-rich mining sites. Lithium, often referred to as white gold, is a crucial element in the production of lithium-ion batteries, the heart of electric vehicles. These batteries store and provide the energy needed to power EVs, making them a fundamental component of the EV ecosystem. However, the demand for lithium has been rapidly outpacing supply, leading to concerns about the sustainability of the EV revolution. The world contains vast quantities of lithium, an integral element in electric vehicle batteries. And while lithium is commonly mined from hard rock, the majority of the world's lithium reserves are actually found in brine, extremely salty water beneath the Earth's surface. Extracting this metal involves evaporating the brine in massive pools, leaving behind high concentrations of lithium. It takes up vast swaths of land, is inefficient, often controversial, and ecologically disruptive. But until recently, there hasn't been much pressure to change. There was no EV revolution happening, so there was no reason for people to innovate. But as automakers around the world struggle to meet extraordinarily ambitious electric vehicle production targets, there's a growing interest in doing things differently. The auto industry requires a 20x increase in lithium supply, and there's just no way to achieve that type of growth with conventional technologies. For all of its recent buzz, research into direct lithium extraction from seawater and other solutions actually began in the 1970s. But back then, traditional methods of brine mining and hard rock mining more than sufficed. The world didn't need direct lithium extraction for the last 50 years. Lithium's primary use was industrial, ceramics, glass, and lubricants. But with demand for EVs and lithium-ion batteries booming, now there's a supply crunch. One of the most notable aspects of Tesla's entry into lithium mining is its emphasis on sustainable extraction methods. Traditional lithium mining practices such as open pit mining and evaporation ponds can have detrimental environmental impacts, including water scarcity habitat destruction, and chemical pollution. Tesla's commitment to sustainability extends beyond its vehicles and extends to its mining operations as well. 
The company's shown interest in technologies like direct lithium extraction, which involves extracting lithium directly from brine sources without the need for evaporation ponds. DLE technologies can significantly reduce water consumption and environmental disruption associated with conventional lithium extraction methods. By investing in such innovative and sustainable technologies, Tesla's setting a precedent for responsible resource extraction in the EV industry. Tesla's implementing a new process to mine and refine the lithium into a battery-grade material. This battery-grade lithium hydroxide refining facility, which Tesla touted as the first of its kind in North America, will process raw ore material into a usable state for battery production. The refinery uses the sulfate-free spodumene refining process with reduced process costs, no acid or caustic reagents, lower embodied energy, it actually produces a beneficial byproduct that can be repurposed in construction materials. Now, over the last 10 years, 90% of new lithium production has come from hard rock projects. But hard rock projects are increasingly expensive. And if you add up all the hard rock projects, there are not enough resources out there to meet automaker goals. It's the brine resources that are large enough to electrify the vehicle industry. However, the limitations of traditional brine mining are clear. At first, evaporation ponds, you can immediately see the inefficiencies. It takes a really long time for the brine to go through the pond sequence. So you're looking at about 18 months of lead time that it takes to produce the lithium out of the back end. Also, they have really low recovery rates, only a 30 to 40% recovery rate. Instead of concentrating lithium by evaporating brine in large pools with direct lithium extraction, the brine's pulled directly into a processing unit where it's put through a series of chemical processes to separate the lithium before being re-injected back underground. Refined, battery-grade lithium carbonate or hydroxide can be produced in a matter of hours without the need to transport concentrated brine to a separate processing facility. And unlike evaporation ponds, direct lithium extraction technologies have the potential to recover the vast majority of the lithium. So when you apply these technologies, the sort of headline expectations are somewhere between 70 to 90% yields, which has a very, very significant impact on both the cost of production and ultimately the level of output and the lithium units that enter the market. It's a significant moment for Tesla and marks a moment of vertical integration for the automaker. Tesla's trying to control more of the raw materials for its cars as growth in EV sales around the world puts pressure on the global supply chain for lithium and lithium-ion batteries. Lithium production from direct extraction is projected to grow from about 54,000 metric tons today to over 647,000 metric tons by 2032. That's forecast to be worth about $21.6 billion. Vertical integration isn't new for the car business. Ford once mined the iron ore and manufactured the steel used in its vehicles. As the car industry matured, however, automakers didn't feel the need to vertically integrate and let suppliers invest the capital needed to meet their needs. Lithium products that end up in batteries start as an ore or in a salt brine. After lithium's extracted, it's concentrated and then refined. Lithium refining capacity, which is mostly located in China, has been the bottleneck for the industry in recent years. Benchmark prices for refined lithium products hit roughly $90,000 a metric ton as of the end of last year. They were roughly $10,000 a ton before the pandemic, but prices have tumbled in recent months and currently sit at about $25,000 a ton, a level some in the industry feel is required to drive the level of investment needed to ensure supply of lithium products for a growing number of EVs. The move into lithium refining should ease supply chain problems and accelerate EV production for Tesla. As we look ahead a few years, a fundamental choke point in the advancement of electric vehicles is the availability of battery-grade lithium. Tesla's decision to enter the lithium mining industry is rooted in its pursuit of vertical integration. By controlling more elements of its supply chain, the company aims to reduce its dependence on external suppliers and secure a consistent flow of raw materials. Vertical integration can provide Tesla with greater control over the quality, availability, and pricing of the lithium it requires for its batteries. Furthermore, vertical integration can serve as a competitive advantage as Tesla will be better positioned to adapt to market fluctuations and ensure a stable supply even during periods of high demand or supply chain disruptions.
This move aligns with Tesla's overall strategy of self-reliance and differentiation from other EV manufacturers. Tesla's foray into lithium mining is poised to become a game-changer for the entire EV industry. By securing its own lithium supply, Tesla can mitigate the risks associated with price volatility and supply chain disruptions. This stability could translate into lower production costs, which in turn might make Tesla's EVs more competitive in the market. Tesla's commitment to sustainable lithium extraction methods sends a powerful message to the industry. As EV adoption continues to rise, the environmental impact of raw material extraction becomes increasingly important. Tesla's efforts can drive positive change and encourage other players in the industry to adopt greener practices. Tesla's willingness to invest in innovative extraction technologies highlights its leadership in pushing the boundaries of technological advancement. This move could spark further innovation in the mining sector, leading to more efficient and eco-friendly methods of resource extraction. Tesla's entry into lithium mining could lead to partnerships with other companies in the EV ecosystem. This collaboration could help establish a more resilient and interconnected supply chain, benefiting the entire industry. As a pioneering company, Tesla often sets trends that competitors follow. Its entry into lithium mining might inspire other EV manufacturers to explore similar strategies, further accelerating the shift towards sustainable resource management in the industry. Tesla's decision to enter the lithium mining industry marks a significant step in its quest to revolutionize the EV sector. By securing its own lithium supply through sustainable methods and vertical integration, Tesla's positioning itself as a leader in responsible resource management. This move has the potential to reshape the landscape of both the EV and mining industries, inspiring innovation, collaboration, and a more sustainable future. As the world races towards cleaner transportation alternatives, Tesla's commitment to ethical lithium sourcing could be a driving force behind the transformation of the automotive industry. Thanks for watching. Until next time.